Unlocking the Mystery of Waist Size, a Guide to Understanding Measurements in English. Hello everyone. Today, we're going to unravel the concept of waist size, a term you've likely encountered while shopping for clothes or working on fitness goals. Knowing how to talk about body measurements is not only practical but also a great way to enhance your English vocabulary. So, let's get started and dive into the world of measurements. Waist size refers to the measurement around a person's waist. It's a horizontal measure, typically taken at the smallest part of one's midsection, or just above the hip bones. This measurement is crucial because it's often used to determine clothing sizes and to assess health risks associated with body shape and size. To measure your waist, you need a flexible measuring tape. Here are the steps. 1. Stand up straight and relax your abdomen. 2. Find the narrowest part of your waist. 3. Wrap the measuring tape around your waist, keeping it parallel to the floor. 4. Ensure the tape is snug but not digging into your skin. 5. Read the number where the tape meets the end, which is your waist measurement. Understanding and knowing your waist size has several benefits. Shopping for clothes, it helps you find garments that fit well. Tracking fitness progress, if you're on a fitness journey, your waist size can be an indicator of your progress. Health assessments. Doctors often use waist size to evaluate potential health risks, as excess waist fat can lead to various conditions. Waist sizes can be listed in inches or centimeters, depending on the country. In the United States, for example, waist sizes are usually in inches, while Europe may use centimeters. It's essential to know the local sizing system to make accurate clothing choices or discuss your measurements with health professionals abroad. Don't confuse waist size with pant size. Pant sizes typically include both waist and length measurements, and they are usually marked with two numbers, like 32 by 34, where 32 is the waist size and 34 is the inside leg length. When discussing measurements in English, use the correct units of measurement. Practice numbers to ensure clarity in communication. Remember, phrases like, what's your waist size, can be personal, so use them appropriately. There you have it. A closer look at waist size and how to discuss it confidently in English. Remember, practice makes perfect. So keep measuring and using these new terms in real-life situations. We hope this video has been informative and adds a new dimension to your English learning journey. Until next time, happy measuring!